What you're looking at here, before you, is a life curve. That is, it clearly shows a progress, in years, from the cradle to the grave. Starting at zero, that's the time of birth. All the way up to a possible 100 years of a protracted life span. It's not guesswork, or a flight of fancy. It's a real, hard world, fact of an individual's lifespan. Some people live longer than the 100 years shown here. Alas, other people never get this far. But one thing is undeniably sure, we're all on here, somewhere. So, can you guess the moment that life will be stolen from you? Of course you can't. Neither can I. I'm very pleased to say. However, look closely at the time graph. Notice, at the very top there is, clearly shown, a time curve, represented by the red line. Underneath which is a shaded green area. Starting on the floor of this top life curve and following the red line from the left, at the point of zero, you will see the red line gradually curve upwards to an apex. Zero, of course, represents the moment of our birth. As we move to the right we see that the red line is slowly rising and then rapidly rising further. Until it begins to slow down as it nears the top of the curve, before beginning to gradually descend to once again, meet the floor of the top graph. You will notice the vertical rise, on the left hand side, the numbers from 0 to 25. And along the top are the numbers from 0 to 100. You will particularly notice that the curve stops rising at about the age of 25, as some experts in the human life cycle suggest that at approximately 25, we reach a peak of development that goes no further. This, of course, is purely dependent upon the individual herein concerned. It's not a hard or fast rule, but a very close approximation, a sort of an observed, educated guess, and is close enough to allow us a good, visual feel, for what, more or less, happens throughout our lifespan from cradle to grave. Now, if the so-called experts are right, or even close enough, then we clearly see a downward trend approximately after the age of 25. Or, to put it bluntly, it's all downhill from there on out. Notice the more intense green strip underneath the small round green dot. This is to draw your attention to what we suppose is our more, er, uh, shall we say, enthusiastic and physically mature period in our lifespan. Again, just to be clear, this is a more or less, either way, assumption, certainly not set in concrete, as it were. Now, the bottom set of lines, or graph, shows a similar period for our lives, except for the fact that it now encompasses the full 100 years that we, could, note I only say, could, walk this earth, this very beautiful place we call home. Here we see row upon row of little boxes, each representing just the one year of our possible lives. And, of course, unless you have sight problems, apologies and condolences, you will notice the blue line stretching from the top left-hand corner, down to the bottom right-hand corner. All of those little boxes that fall underneath the blue line, represent one year of our lives. All right, here it is. Somewhere along this blue line, represented by one of those little boxes, will be your exit point from this life. And this life is our one and only chance to experience the wonders of Mother Nature, in all her splendor and magnificence. All of what you see here before you has been prepared for nothing more than to ask you one simple question. Yes, that really is a lot of time, trouble and effort to go through simply to ask one seemingly small question. But, you see, it's not just a small question. It's the most important question in existence. And that question is, before you die, have you made the most of yourself, and your life, using the treasures you were, hopefully, born with? Or will you look back, in despair, at all the missed opportunities, wasted moments, squandered options and realization that may only come to your mind, on your deathbed? Maybe you'd like to take a moment here, just to think about any possible future open to you. Yes, that's right. The very same future that should come your way, all being right with the world, as early as tomorrow. Don't know what I'm talking about, really. Okay, little exercise that just might start the ball rolling. 
Say to yourself, several times if you have two, what am I going to do next, before it's simply too late. If you couldn't be bothered to do that now, trust me, you most certainly will do it, on your deathbed. Do you see the tiny box underneath the blue line, the one colored red? That's my dad. Or, the year he departed this earth. He was 67, and not long since retired. Both himself, and my mum, had so many plans, and were going to do so many things together. They were. But please, don't weep for them, you really don't have time. 